Okay, let's go back then. Oh, here's something. I stopped walking in front of a certain room. There's a piece of paper taped to the door. Here I am again. Unfortunately, I don't have any fresh jokes to try here. What's the joke room? Then I remember the man standing next to me. Hmm, Yoshino, look at this. He looks convinced this will be a waste of his time. I point to the paper, touching my finger to one of the letters. Gig. Among other things, it can mean a small-scale live concert. The word has a very radical image associated with it. Apparently, one of those small groups beheaded a chicken on stage once. Yoshino seems like the type to enjoy hardcore music like that. It's only natural he'd react to that work. word. Uh, the guys who polish their skills here probably do all sorts of late night gigs. A secret gig had late at night in the school. This is no ordinary room. Yoshino's interest is rising. He's feeling something from this. But Yoshino, how could you pass up a chance like this? There's no doubt he'll be my rival here. At this rate, he's gonna get a pretty high score. Yoshino rolls his shoulders, then opens the door. Once Yoshino's attention turns to the inside of the room, I remove the scrap of paper I'd stuck to the sign. Gag practice room. Yes, it's this place again. I follow Yoshino inside. Yeah, your score should appear here, and I hear it's a tough judge. Have you actually had a gig before? Though Yoshino doesn't seem completely unhappy about it, it might be hard for even your soul to bend this machine to your will. No problem, Yoshino-san. Yoshino's solo performance. It, be it begins with a poem.俺は命を守らねえ。いつでも投げ捨てられるよ。死の形に臆するな。Yoshino holds one fist up in the air. It's called the Yoshino stance, indicating the end of the gig. I am silent. If I open my mouth even a tiny bit, I might kill over laughing. But if I laugh now, he'll kill me. He'll never talk to me again. This is a critical moment. But the world is entirely indifferent. A number is displayed on the wall, like in karaoke. 95 out of 100! Woo! Bwah! I managed to hold my mouth shut. If I didn't, I'd never stop laughing. That joke was worth 95 out of 100 points. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, the sympathetic voice is just hard enough to understand that he did notice it said joke. It was wonderful. There's no room for criticism. <laughs> Your talent is godly! Bravo! No one can keep a straight face after hearing that. <laughs> you should become a professional immediately. That is your duty to Japan. No, to the world. Your time will come, and I will be waiting. I can't hold it in any longer. I run out into the corridor. I find a bathroom, and a stall, then laugh my heart out. I laugh so hard I can't stop crying. After I finally finish, I return to the hallway to find Yoshino waiting for me with a proud face. Oh, I desperately hold back the urge to burst out laughing again. <laughs> it's nothing. 
俺はもう行かせてもらうてめえは勝手にしな We start walking again. He's definitely in a good mood now. Normally, he wouldn't wait for me like that. Maybe doing stuff like this is part of friendship. I played with Yoshino a little. Anything else here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Then let's go on. We walk on in silence. Five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. How far did we walk when we came here? We should have passed that distance already, but we are still not back yet. I look at my phone's clock and it gives a warning saying it can't access the time server. I have it set to synchronize the clock automatically, so evidently it can't do that right now. This has never happened before. Yoshino, look at this! Maybe we've left the grid somehow. You know, maybe we've been spirited away or something. There are a lot of people who just disappear one day, never to be seen again. I hope it's that simple. This has happened before, after all. Oh, here's something. I remember a strange thing a first year boy told me before. A group of old men in our uniforms. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yoshino had been walking ahead of me. Hmm? I've just heard a rumor that some old men wearing our uni school's uniform have been seen around here. Really? And then Yoshino tells a story. A story of a certain rumor flowing through the school. We offer those? So those guys might be studying right here and now? That really is a legend. I can't buy that at all. Hmm. Back then, given the direction the first year was running, those late night classes would have to be in the direction we are heading. Is that really true? If there are students going to late night classes despite that... Usha! A throaty voice comes from farther down the hall. Let's go! We dash to the source. We reach the classroom it came from. We can tell there are several people inside. Yeah, let's confirm the legend. Yoshino shoves the door open. We freeze on the spot. Inside, there are strong old men, but not just one or two of them. Almost 40 of them. They are all of different ages, but the youngest look around 25, while the oldest look around 50. Every last one of them is glaring at us. Thick animosity flows toward us. <coughs> Wah! Yoshino and I run away in perfect sync. Behind us, we can hear screams of, Wait up, you brats! W what the hell is that? <laughs> That's just nuts! But he's right, that anger just now. Without a doubt, that's the same grudge all held back students feel toward ones who advanced normally. The old man continued chasing us. The legendary super seniors of Kaza Matsuri Academy are real! Make an article out of this? Yes or no? Sure, why not? I put together a simple report on this. Once we are out of here, I'll send this to Inoue. The terrifying old man complete! Yay, we completed a side quest. Then let's proceed. He stops. I have to agree. Yeah, we've walked at least as far as we came. There's no way it would take a whole hour to get back to where we started. I try opening map B. Maps can't lie. What? A chilling message is displayed. Errors have been detected in the geographical data. Cannot produce an accurate map. What the hell? I close the warning dialog and slide over to the map. The place we came from has been blotted out with new terrain. Which means this place has changed since the last time we walked through it. Nah, just map B. It's a program that makes maps as you walk around. It remembers everywhere we've been. 
but according to Mappy, this place has changed since we were last here, so it's spitting out errors. More precisely, the terrain here has been instantly and physically overwritten, I guess. Modern technology isn't helping us at all. Guess so, who knows where the ghost took us away to. But... Well, I don't really feel like explaining that right now. We continue walking. And what have we here? We find something interesting. Wait, Yoshino! Don't disobey for no reason, that just feels weird. Look, I've never seen anything like this. On the floor, this one part is weird. Yoshino strains his eyes. He finds it quickly. It's not just that. Can you feel the pressure here? He gazes at it for a while, then shakes his head. I thought you would be able to feel it since you live on the battlefield every day. I nod deeply, then look into Yoshino's eyes seriously. That floor is probably poisoned. He walks off silently. Wait, I'm not joking. I seriously think that's what this is. Stepping on those could be really bad. You'd better avoid them. And yet Yoshino avoids all the green spots on the floor ahead. That annoys me. You are avoiding them. You said you wouldn't listen to me, so step on one. Liar! You are just scared because I told you they'd be poisonous. He stops. But you are, aren't you? Yoshino glances at the poisonous floor. Wait, Yoshino, the only way to prove that is by stepping on it. I'll step on it before you and that will prove I'm a man. You can walk behind me and watch how fearless I am. I step firmly toward a poisoned spot. He pushes me aside and goes ahead. He stomps on the green floor. Yoshino claims victory. However, Yoshino, something's wrong. That's not the right color. Not that, your face. Your face is turning green! The green man of terror has appeared. You might think just turning someone green doesn't make them scary. But you'd be wrong. Bluffs like that fly away the moment you see the real thing. I'm scared. I'm far too scared. I instinctively step back. He notices the change. Every part of his skin is turning green. Use your phone! Modern phones include scanning programs. Yoshino puts his arm up to his phone's sensor. Well, shit. Wah! The floor really is poisoned. Unable to endure the terror, I flee. Stay away, you will infect me. I don't have one. Yoshino chases me. I don't know. Wah! Stay away! No! This had nothing to do with me! Stop! Stay away! Go to a doctor! Dark green Yoshino juice falls from the corners of his mouth. He's beyond all help now. Yoshino, give up. It's too late now. You'll die before you reach the hospital. At least die like a man, Yoshino. Don't look so pathetic. Act cool and badass in your final moments. He coughs up more Yoshino juice. It falls to the floor and starts making white smoke. You're a walking biohazard! That juice is more poison. If Yoshino gets outside the school, Kazamatsuri will be in real danger. The uh, buddy, don't hate me for this. 
I take a fighting stance. I cannot allow you to leave this place even if it costs me my life. The faces of my friends pass through my mind. My will to fight rises. I will face you with my true power. Prepare yourself, Yoshino. Releasing all prana. <laughs> prana. Whoa! And then our fists. Wait, if I touch you, I'll be poisoned too. I run at full speed. We are no longer thinking rationally, which is why I fail to notice. As I run, I step on a yellow spot. Gua! What is that? An electricity trap? I take out my phone with shaking hands. I check my own status with the sensor. Application mobile doctor. On the LCD screen, a digital doctor pops up and smiles brightly. Your current status effect is paralyzed. Wow, this throw is drug too! <laughs> Yoshino approaches. He steps on the drug floor too. Was he really this stupid? Actually, the poison might be affecting his brain somehow. We both feel ourselves go numb. Fortunately, the par paralysis effect is temporary. We both leap onto a normal part of the floor. Then I notice Yoshino's skin is no longer green. Apparently it wears off after a while. Are you alright, my one true friend? I was super worried about you. I rush to Yoshino's side. <laughs> he hits me as hard as possible. Somehow I apologize enough that we can continue our adventure. Yoshino, that wall's green. He overreacts backwards. Apparently the green traumatized him. Well then, let's go on ahead. Anything else here? Apparently not. Let's talk. We've been walking for a long time. An hour, maybe two hours. Maybe even longer. I can't be bothered to look at the clock. I'm afraid I won't like what I see. Walking in silence like this makes it hard to breathe. Talk to me about something. Aren't you nervous? Ten and Yoshino have been split away. Oh, and Ten is my nickname as your sidekick. Damn. Guess I'll change the subject. Uh, by the way, what do you think of our class? Yoshino acts menacingly. Uh, what? Don't be so intimidating. I can sense people's numerical battle strength through their uh, ki or nen or waves or whatever, so doing that scares me. Nen, isn't that from a uh, Hunter x Hunter? You've got to control your ki better or else the enemy leaders will find you. I was just curious what you thought of them. You don't talk to any of them at all. No, not that. I doubt anyone's being malicious. But is it. Uh, but it is kinda cold between you and them, I mean. Teme? Suddenly he snaps. He grabs me by the chest. Wow, what gifts? Don't scare me like that. Why are you being so violent? Uh, what? Uh, wait, I think I get it. Normally I can talk to anyone like they're my friend and I'm not trying to deceive them or anything. I just don't like getting too close. It feels like I'm too different from everyone else. The hatred in his eyes doesn't weaken in the slightest. What the hell set him off? Don't get so mad all of a sudden. That's not right. You are telling me not to talk shit about people behind their backs, right? I know not to do that and I don't. <laughs> But it's true they don't mean anything bad either. You said that yourself. You really think so? That kind of hurts. He throws me to the ground. 
What high horse? This is really bothering me now. You take this so seriously. Does he hate how goofy and casual I act? How should I act then? No one's perfect, so we all have to live in a less than ideal way. I'm no different. What's wrong with being carefree? His face approaches mine. Just like a proper face of between gangsters. So you're a moral guardian now? Question, would you feel better if I acted more serious about this? Don't hold so much, doggy. If you were really evil, you would have beaten me to the brink of death by now. You are trying to act evil right now. Aren't you putting on an act just as much as me? He feels different now. Somehow, all I do is talk to you. It turns into teasing a lot, but that's just a habit. I've never seriously ridiculed or despised you. Tons of other people do the same thing. Our class is full of nice people. I respect all of them. Some of them might not be acting at all. But they all say you and I stand out somehow. Don't talk like I chose to be different from them. This is no good. I'm starting to lose control too. I can feel my words becoming harsher. Aren't you being too self-conscious? He takes on a fighting pose from the Yoshino School of Martial Arts. Damn it, he means it this time. I panic as it becomes more and more likely we'll throw ourselves at each other. We're about to pass to the point of no return. Apologizing won't be enough anymore. But if I'm going to fight him, how am I supposed to win? For now, I take my stance. We are ready for battle. <laughs> he swings his fist. <laughs> As if. Yoshino's attack shoots forth like an arrow with godly speed. But I twist my body, invaded by a hair's breadth. <laughs> Yoshino had intended to defeat his prey with a single blow, but is now shocked to see me survive. Isn't that all you've got? You will never hurt me with an attack like that. Yoshino tightens up. <laughs> that, that movement. Yoshino tightens up and holds a fist up in front of me. This is a boxing stance. He has no openings as he glares at me with sharp eyes. Wow! I can't take him lightly. I prepare for a hard fight. Strangely enough, my stance also resembles one for boxing. Come at me! He lowers his body and seems to slide along the ground, closing the distance between us. So fast! <laughs> what happened next was a miracle in boxing history. The oldest form of bare-handed combat, polished over more than 10,000 years with its roots in what we now call Ethiopia. The style's ultimate technique, a lethal subsonic impact, is now on the verge of crushing my lower jaw. The wild animal that is his fist has been released into the wild and will dig into me in under 1.0.1 seconds. That's how fast this attack is. Normally it'd be difficult to even see such a punch, but I... That's a nimble fist, but nothing more. After saying a line that takes over 5 seconds to finish, I slip away from the high-speed fist by rotating my body. The force of Yoshino's attack pulls him along behind me. We both turn around and face each other once again. <laughs> I completely dodged it. I'm sure I did, but... What? What? There's... blood on my jaw? A small scratch, there's no way that punch. What's going on here? It's almost like Yoshino has superpowers too. He smiles invincibly. No, that's more like it, Yoshino. I'm getting excited. I might be able to unleash my full potential on this guy. So have I. I never thought you were this skilled. My turn now. Secret fist technique! 
Murasame. A release my left fist with even greater speed than Yoshino's secret techniques, and it grazes Yoshino's jaw as if it was sucked away. The only reason it didn't hit is because of Yoshino's superhuman eyesight and reaction times. The fastest technique in boxing, the jab. Normally this is only a feint, but my jabs have the power of a heavyweight boxer's right straight and the accuracy of a first-rate sniper. And like any other kind of jab, I can perform it in rapid succession, like a machine gun. So, how many of them can you evade? Oh? Let's see you try! He's doing Super Saiyan! Oh shit! Was that an explosion? Yoshino and I move behind each other instantaneously using our after images as diversions and release the seals on our forbidden secret techniques. Everything we had was in that battle. Unfortunately, all of that was just my delusion. This is what actually happened. Oh, it was just a delusion? How disappointing. Ah, you! Screw! What? What's wrong? Spit it out! Gah! We grapple with each other, neither of us landing any clean hits. All we can do in this state is push forward, pull back and intimidate the enemy. Now this is a real fight. Ow! He grabs my hair. I then claw Yoshino's face in exchange. Let go! We trade blows. Both of us can block each other's hands, so we try to kick each other instead. It's too close to do any real damage, but the pain should still be aggravating. Ow, ow, that really hurt. We both swing with all our might. As we grapple together, we crash into the right wall and collide with the left. Da, ga. <laughs> we can't even trash talk anymore. But our will to fight remains, so we continue moving down the hallway like a pair of dancers. Then, finally, we crash into a certain wall. And by sheer luck, break through a door. We lose hold of each other and tumble to the ground. DUSHA! <laughs> hey, it's Akane. Huh? I hear a familiar voice and pull myself up. Akane is sitting cross-legged on the table eating some ice cream. What the hell are you doing here? I speak to her in my antagonized state of mind. The new razor flies into my cranium. Ah, sorry. But why are we in the club room? I turn on the lights and look around. It's the familiar occult club room. That was the club room door? But when did we get all the way back here? Mappy doesn't remember coming here at all. It's no longer working properly after all those errors. I'll have to reset it. What does this mean? Why are you sitting on the table eating ice cream? Such bad table manners! I thought you'd be the type to care about that. I'm disillusioned again. It's not really about bothering anyone. You? Rebel? How does sitting on the table eating junk food count as fighting the establishment? Eh? Shit. <laughs> Yoshino had landed against the cardboard box tower, which promptly collapsed and buried him in documents. Only his legs remain visible. He's in the doghouse! Crap, he can't get out of that on his own. Are you okay, Yoshino? I push the paper aside and save Yoshino. He's limp. He just hit Mark with a straight face. Although Yoshino's school is amazing. Wait, Yoshino, we are back! 
We are back in the normal school. He looks around. What are you talking about? Why even bother with that? <laughs> Akane completely breaks character and hits Yoshino in the gut with a palm strike. Yoshino writhes in agony. Evidently, it was an extremely powerful hit. いきなりドアを壊してとつにしてきたかと思えば、わけのわからぬことをとっとと出ていくがいい。くそ、させて。待ちなさい。ああ。その前に有金を置いていってもらおうかしら。金だと。さては山賊。いや、皇族か。そう
How can you call yourself the cult club president? The lid of your ice cream is stuck to them, uh, the one you were eating a minute ago. How is that good condition? Give me those things! I steal the bottle of Shikigami. Ice cream stains better not nullify their effects. Ah, so many! This is wonderful! There are hundreds in here, it's a whole army! You could start a spectral war in the capital with all these guys. This should be enough to make a commoner like me rest easy. I shall make good use of these. I proclaim to the president. Paranormal phenomena, there really is more than just superpowers out there. I'm a little impressed. There have been a lot of spectral events happening to me lately. It feels like something big is starting to happen. I need to find out what. Superpowers! No, seriously, they are real! Uh, and the Seven Wonders? The school. Didn't I just tell you about getting sucked into an alternate dimension here? Let's search for the first of the Seven Wonders, the entrance to a mysterious alternate dimension. You obtained info of the Seven Wonders number one entrance to an alternate dimension. How are you gonna explain this? <laughs> a smile of thorough disdain. Why does our president have to deny all these things? <laughs> Don't say that while counting money. She's counting them the same uh, efficient way bank tellers do. <laughs> Wow, you're right! I completely forgot about studying for the tests. Crap, my plan to cram two subjects in one night is ruined. Uh, I've got to go now, we'll talk more later. Before I leave, Akana casually asks. Huh? Why did she make such a sad face? Maybe we'll find out next time on uh, Rewrite. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a nice day. Bye bye.